ask our children to come forward for our children's sermon at this time. While our children are coming forward, I want to share a couple things with you. One is Betty Cole is having surgery today at noon. And so y'all remember Betty in your prayers. She's, she's having surgery at noon. Two, Joyce Odom had to leave during Sunday school this morning and they were going to take her to the emergency room and have her checked out. So I want you to remember Joyce in your prayers today as well, if you will. And, and, and then three, I want you to know that when I preach this sermon to you this morning, I want you to know that you may think you don't need this sermon. But I want you to know that even if you don't need this sermon, you know somebody that does need it. And, and, and I want you to take it to them. I want you to love them enough to take it to them. Since they're not here, they can't hear it. And so you love them enough to take it to them. Because I'm going to finish up on the chairs today. And, uh, and I do want to let you know a couple other things in case some of y'all might be interested in coming back on Sundays or Wednesdays. Because I've started a new series Wednesday night. I'm starting a new series tonight on Sunday. The, the series on Wednesday night is How to Live by faith in a secular world. And it's going to be a while. I was going to do 18 verses Wednesday night and I got through three. <laughs> so, how to live by faith in a secular world. And on Sunday nights, I'm going to preach on heaven for the next several weeks. In case you're interested in heaven, I'm going to preach on heaven for the next several weeks. Good morning. Alright, I need somebody that's really talented, athletic, can do marvelous things to do something for me. Is that you, honey? Alright. I need you to stand on that chair on one leg. Not on one leg of yours, one leg of the chair. Just one leg. Come on, show me how. Can I get it up on one leg? I want the chair on one leg. Get up on one leg. Come on, marvelous athletic little man. Trouble is, it's going to get you 
in trouble with your spouse. It's going to get you in trouble with God and Jesus, isn't it? Because He tells us things, doesn't it? So that's what I'm going to be talking about this morning, is the two chairs of marriage. Now, I want to, I want to reiterate something. Everybody look at me. Y'all are too young to get married. Did <laughs> you know that? Parents, I told them. <laughs> so don't even think about it. I don't know y'all are too young to have a girlfriend or boyfriend. Oh, 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 Young men and women want to be the men and women that, that when they do get married, that they're the person they're supposed to be. Because God and marriage is so important. Family is so important. And being what you call us to be is so important. And so, Father God, we just ask you to help us today as we preach your word and help these young people as they learn to live your word as they grow up. In the precious name of Jesus. 